Good morning, Pipers. Hope you're all well. It's Friday. The weekend is upon us again, thank God. And I'm in, just enjoying a bowl of Jermaine's Brown Flake in my newly acquired Dunhill birth year pipe. So I've been after a birth year pipe looking for one for quite some time, but as I'm not going to be buying a load of Dunhills, I wanted some uh, like something that you know it had to be the one that I really wanted, not just something because it were 1972 birth year. So it had to be a shape I wanted, and this shape is a 913 and I'm gonna call it a oval shank pair I guess because I don't know what the official 913 name is if anyone does let me know but uh, I love an oval shank pipe so as soon as I saw this one with that amazing blast on it it's a tan shell then I just knew that was the one for me. A group four. And it's in very, very good nick. So very, very happy that I finally got a Dunhill birth year pipe. It's something I guess we do in the pipe world. So yeah. finally trip myself right so as you know I've come to end of my commissions really at the moment uh, still taking them on but no one lined up so I've had some time to make some pipes that are available and uh, let's have a look at them Right, we'll start with the bent pot. Obviously, from the title, you know, there's a bent pot and there is a brandy prince. Let me pop some specs on. Are you okay? The boy's just got a little bit of an ulcer starting on his the other eye to, that he had the ulcer before. So there's always something with this lad. So I have to keep an eye on that. Right, here we go. So here we have a bent pot. And as you can see straight away, straight away, it's in what I used to call the thing rustication, but I think it's more now going to be named the morel rustication because it is really like a morel mushroom. And someone did suggest that name I can't remember who it was, uh, but it's this nice, deep, craggy rustication. Feels great in the hand, just in an oiled finish. With a little bit of canuba on the top. It's uh, a chunky pipe. It, let's see, I've got some measurements. It weighs in at 60 grams, and the pot... The uh, chamber is uh, wide, it's, uh, it's my wide bit, so it's 23 wide and 35 deep, uh, like a parabolic, so it comes down and tapers into a point at the bottom. It's a really nice bowl, especially nice for like uh, Englishers uh, in a ribbon cut, something where you want a bit of room for it to all expand. Uh, down here into an aluminium shank ring which I turned obviously and then we've got some polyester for horn which is really really nice I used to use this quite a bit before we went onto the Eldridge the polyester has a really nice feel in the mouth like the Eldridge resin and obviously don't oxidize uh, nowhere near as hard as acrylic 
No filter. And there you can see the aluminium shank ring. So yeah, so overall length is 140 mil. Like I said, the chamber is 23 by 35 deep and a 60 gram pipe. So that is the bent pot, bent pot in the Morel rustication. And on to the next, which is the Brandy Prince. Because I guess the shape's not quite Prince, not quite Brandy, I suppose. We're somewhere in between, a bit of an hybrid. So this pipe started out as a sandblast, but the sandblast was a little uneventful, a little boring. So I decided to rusticate it with this dot rustication. It's panelled. How many panels we got? Two, four, six, eight panels octagonal. You can see where I've rubbed the stain back to reveal the lines of the panel. We've got some uh, English boxwood on there. It's a darker piece. I think uh, it must have been like a, a bit of the, sometimes you, in the wood you get like a heart, the heart of the boxwood, where it's a bit darker and a bit more dense. So I think that's the piece that was. But it kind of matches the rustication colour into this uh, Eldridge black resin. So no oxidization here. Nice slot and button. No filter on this one either, obviously with a thinner shank, not gonna get no filter in it. It's uh, quite a long pipe. Let's have a look at measurements on this one. It's uh, 170 long. So that's probably what, six and a half inch. Uh, it's 20 wide by 30 mil deep, so still a decent sized bowl. Uh, weighs in at 39 grams, so nice and light, clinchable uh, for a long pipe. And uh, yeah, in a chocolate stain with this uh, dot rustication. Nearly church warden length. So there we have them. Two available pipes. The bent pot. And the uh, the bed pot and the uh, brandy print. So, if any of them catch your interest, plenty of ways to get in touch with me down in the uh, description box. And. Uh, I shall now continue my brown flake and uh, I am on my last episode of the outer range on Amazon which uh, I've really enjoyed actually I don't know how it's going to finish whether it's a standalone season or whether there's another one so this last episode to go but all very intriguing uh, a bit of a 
I don't know, maybe Close Encounters type feel to it, I'm not sure. It's uh, quite unique. And then after this, I gave up on the Ozark, uh, started season two and I don't know, just didn't seem like it was going anywhere for me, just laundering money and trying to avoid getting killed. Uh, not really. Uh, not really anything. I don't know. To keep me, keep me guessing, I guess. Uh, so I think I'm going to start rewatching Stranger Things. I think from season one. So um, until the uh, second part drops on the first of July. So yeah. So enjoy your weekends, guys. Hope you get plenty of smokes in. And as ever, stay smoky, my friends.